Hey homies, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about Grand Peace Online Update 2. So last video that we made on this was the Update 1 and we talked about the Christmas events. But now we're going to be talking about Update 2. I will also be doing two fruit showcases later. I will also be doing some fruit giveaways this time. So, you know, make sure to get yourselves hyped up for that. But yeah, I'm not going to make the intro long. I just hope that you guys had a good day. And even if you didn't have a good day, I hope that, you know, your day gets better and everything. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. So, don't forget to smash that like button. Put a comment down below and, you know, subscribe. And let's get into it. Alright, for this update, a lot was added, so I will be breaking this down into different sections. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is uh, the new, uh, what's it called, the new island that was recently added, which was the, what's it called, the Gravity Island, well, Marine Island, but it's a new Marine Island, but it's mainly home to the Gravity Boss and all that, so we're just going to head over there now. Uh, I'm not going to be using a log post since I'm pretty sure I remember where it's from. Also, there's a new, like, boat. Well, not a new boat, but there's, like, a new, you know, well, yeah, boat. So this is the hoverboard. You can get this by beating the gravity boss or buying it with Robux. So there's two ways to get it. So, you know, if you don't have Robux and you want to go try and get this, I'm pretty sure you can get it from the gravity boss. Again, this is as of right now. This may change and it might be Robux only. But for right now, you can, it's coming out for Robux and uh, what's it called? For what's it called uh, from the gravity boss once you kill it so you want to go from Arlong and then we're going to be heading between north and northeast but mainly inching in towards northeast because that's where you know the island is we're just gonna like go over there now there's a lot of things like uh what's it called with this new island also the new max level is level 250 there's a lot of miscellaneous updates too such as like you can't geppo more than five times until you and then you have to so there's like a cooldown on geppo now so you could use geppo five times and it, you would be required to go down onto land and everything oh this is the marine fort uh gravitos fort also hoverboard can go on land so it goes bro so yeah see i'll show you what i mean with the geppo real quick one two three four and then you just can't do it until you touch the ground and then you just go over do it over and over again so once you get to gravitas 4 you know you gotta do everything that you normally do talk to robo lami get your things you're gonna want to head in towards the what's it called not the one on the right but the one over there but i just want to see if there's anything over here pretty sure there's not hold on yeah there's nothing over there so you, the main thing that you want to do is head over here because that is where the mobs are. This is where you get, you know, your little quest. Also, the new max level is level 250, if you can't tell. Blah, blah, blah. Talk, talk to this kid right here. Blah, blah, blah. Get, fight the, uh, what's it called, things. Get that levels. Get some levels, good sir. Next, we have the gravity boss. Oh, someone's fighting him. I don't know why you want to fight him. But yeah, like the gravity boss will spawn right here. I guess. Oh, he didn't even defeat him. Useless. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, nah. I'm not dealing with that. No, sir. Back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. Ah. Fight back. Huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I die like this for a ha ha ha. But yeah, so that's the gravity boss. That's pretty much everything that's on Gravity Island. As of right now, I don't really take anything. So the boss drops three things. First one being, uh, what's it called? The hoverboard that I already showed you boys. Next is, uh, what's it called? Uh, the gravity blade. And then his uh, cape. No, not this one. This one. Gravity was cape. Don't worry about the Admiral cape. It's not available right now. It's because this is a test server. So don't worry about that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm probably going to get in trouble for having that in my video. <laughs> Sorry for you. So the Gravitos Cape gives you 60 HP, as you can tell. I'm pretty sure it helps with regen, 
because I feel like if it only gave you a 10, like, 10 stat point, like, 10 health point increase, because the buggy cage gives you, like, uh, 50, that would be kind of, like, useless, so I'm pretty sure it gives you, like, stamina regen or health regen, like, boosted health regen, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. Next, you have the Gravito Blade, which has one of two moves, I am gonna use a NPC, oh, I cannot stand the stupid, uh, Gepo thing, <laughs> it's gonna be so annoying, because Gepo used to be so busted. So this is where uh, so we're gonna be using this real quick to show the first the first two moves. So the first one being a uh, gravito frenzy is kind of like the sword frenzy from the regular uh, one sword style. So, and then next we have the gravito field. It brings them in the field and then you can still combo them while doing that. So you get massive damage. That's low key busted, but we're like again. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. So that's pretty much all the gravity boss drops. That's pretty much the entirety of the island, really. Oh my goodness. I cannot stand the new thing. Oh my gosh, bro. Fucking busted, dude. But yeah, there's nothing else. Like, even if you go in here, like, there's nothing really. Yeah, you can talk to these. There's, I'm, there's no, like, there's no one. So you can't even, I don't even think you can become a marine at, on this island. Can you? Anyone there? Hello? No, you can't, so. Don't waste your time, just get your levels and then let's go over to the next section, which is Fishman Island. Fishman Island, we have so much to cover, so let's get to it. All right, now that we're done with Gravito's Island, we're now going to Fishman Island, but before that, we need to head over to Fishman's Cave. So you're just gonna wanna head from Gravito's Port, which is like kind of where I remember it. You're gonna wanna head between North, East, and East. It's like a short, it's not really that long of a, what's it called, a, of a travel. So we're just gonna head over there now. Oh goodness, there's a Phoenix user. Look at him. North, East, and East. Uh, for the Fishman Island, they're, you're, they're, like, you're going to get a coding, like, but not on your ship or anything. You're going to get a coding on yourself and your character, and that's going to be to, like, you know, help you swim underwater. I recommend having points in your, uh, what's it called, fighting style or story because that is going to be 100% needed. Because without that, you will be, you know, getting dropped. So, yeah. So, you're going to, you know, of course, don't forget to get your log pose. Talk to this person right here, they will give you a bubble, it's worth 2,000 Pelly and everything. So we're just gonna head down there now. Be careful of sharks, they come at any time. I'm just gonna wait for, yeah, see, told you. So now you're gonna head forward, turn left, turn left again, go that way, swim up. Remember, go all the way far left on the this part, swim up, go down again since it's easier for me to know. Oh gosh, another shark. Yeah, so this part, you want to go from this to straight, and right again, left, and straight again, left, and then left again and come up and there's your crystal that will take you directly to fishman island <laughs> that scared me and there we go we are now at fishman island home of the fish right so now that we're here we're going i'm going to be showing you fishman karate in a little bit since it's not as like that's going to be in the next section that i'm going to be breaking it into so first for fishman island there are currently Two bosses, two bosses that you can fight. In total for the update, there's two, but for this, for Fishman Island specifically, there are two bosses. Over here is where you can, uh, what's it called? Fight to, you know, this is where you can fight the mobs. This is like a leveling area. Important, but not overly important. Over and then on top of here is Neptune's Palace. Do not do this by yourself. You will get yourself killed. Like obviously I'm under equipped, but I'll just show I'll just show you guys the quick sneak of Neptune's greatness, you know? I'll just hit him from afar. Oh yeah. L yeah. Um Yeah. I I don't think I need to say anything more. But this favors Pika and Magu users greatly. 
And again, I get sniped, and I forgot to set my spawn location. But that is fine. Oh wait, no, I did set my spawn. I did set my spawn. I am smart. I am a smart individual, and that, and I promise you that I set my spawn because if I did it, I'm going to be very mad. And I see. I told you. I told you. I told you that I am a complete and utterly smart person. All right. So that's Neptune. Then if you're gonna, then if you go all the way to the back. Past Neptune's palace, right, right, right. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Just keep going. Go to the, ah, uh, the stupid thing. So go past the what's it called? The this looking arena, right? Ooh, look at them, bunch of anime KFCs. I want some KFC now, crazy. But yeah, talk to this girl. This is the second boss. And you know, swordsman. This is where you get uh, what's it called? A shark necklace and another boss drop. This is Ryu. He's not. He's. He, I was gonna say he's not as busted as a. Uh, I was just about to say he's not as busted as you know, the King Neptune. But I take that back now, right? So now we're gonna be going over the boss drops for Fishman Island, right? So let's do that now. So the boss drops consist of, I believe, like three things. No, like four things, four things, right? So first, we have the Neptune's Trident. We also have a new item for prop for head, your Neptune's crown. And then we have the, what's it called? We have the shark necklace. Where is that? There it is. And then finally, we have this, uh, I don't like this sword, Reese Katana, right? These are our four new items alongside the Fishman Island update. This is for the specific Fishman Island, nothing else. First, we have reused Katana. It's just like your regular, it's kind of like the Sky Blue Katana from last update. Nothing special about it. Again, just a regular Katana, nothing special. Next, we have the Sharp Necklace. I'm not exactly sure what this does. I'm pretty sure it either boosts your stamina or health, like all miscellaneous items do. There's no like skill to tell you what it does, or it just probably something to look cool. Next, we have Neptune's Crown. Again, I'm pretty sure it does. It either heals your health or your stamina. It doesn't autumn. It doesn't seem to give you like a specific stat boost. So I'm going for a health regen or stamina regen. And yeah, and what's it called? Neptune's Trident. I didn't equip it, but let me equip it now. Neptune's Trident is a pretty good weapon. I am not going to hold you because oh wait, go wrong weapon, wrong weapon, wrong weapon. Let's try it. Let's look at this bad boy right now. So I'm just gonna test it on this little fish run right here, All right? What do you think? Come to me. All right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on. Come back. Yeah, easy. Again, it's a very good weapon. I probably like it. I like it way more than Kiribachi, and Kiribachi was the weapon that did the most damage. I'm pretty sure this weapon will top it. Also, if you ever want to leave, what was it called? Uh, Fishman Island, just go over here to this blue light and it will show you. There's also a Colosseum back there. Oh snap. Yes, yeah, over there. So now we're going to go to the next next and final portion of this video which is going to be the fishman karate if you i know you've all been waiting for this so let's head over there now all right so for you to be all right so we're going to be talking about fishman karate for you to get to the fishman karate you're just gonna i'm gonna go up there so for me to get so for me to show you the location first we need to go up because if we don't go up we won't be able to get there so just follow oh this is the wrong place wrong place my bad my bad don't don't come for me so we're gonna go a little bit to the right over here and use the long way. I didn't want to use the long way, but guess I have to now. So it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard of a, what's it called, task. It's pretty average. So once you get up here, get on top of here, and you talk to this guy right here, he will give you the, you know, quest for fishman right here. And now we're gonna test it. Uh, what's it called? This right here has, you need a 135, Fishman Karate, these are the stats that I will be using to test it. 250 strength, 365 stamina, and 135 of my Fishman Karate. So these are the magic, the damage that I will be doing with, you know, those type of stats. So the first move that we have is 5,000 Brick Fist, 
uh, it's kind of like a, sh it's kind of like a close range view, so. The mob. Hold on, I messed up. Look at that. And then not also look at your M1s real quick. Look at these M1s. Look at these M1s. It's not bad. It's like, it's low key. Back, Fight back, Fight back! Fight back! Fish. It's like the aqua aqua fruit. Next, we have the water prison. Oh, this also skip, like goes with your mouse. So let's look at this right here. Put them in the prison, then you can do whatever you want with them after that. Again, pretty busted in my opinion. So, you know, you, you know, you do that, you do that. Hold on. Oh, I missed. Even if he walks into it, he gets caught. Next, we have the shark barrage. You just, it's kind of like the Magu Magu. Uh, uh, what's it called c and you just do throw like out a bunch of sharks look at look at that like you need it takes it's gonna take you time to like master it also next we have the x which is the water serpent be careful with this one because like you need to aim and like it doesn't really work for close range so you might want to create some distance between you and the target it's more of a long range move and it goes wherever your mouse wants it to so like I need you need to like actually know how to aim for this one to work. Again, water prison busted. Go anywhere. Then you have the water bomb. Pretty much Mara Goro, but instead of it, it's just water. Why? Ask me again. I do not know. Again, I believe that this is not Fishman Karate. It is the Aqua Aqua Fruit. Um. Now we're going to be talking about Arena. So. For the arena update, they finally added arena 1v1s, arena 2v2s, and arena 5v5s. For you to be able to go to arena, all you have to do is do slash, and then you do arena, and it will TP you to the arena, as you can see. So, what's it called? I will. So, like, there's a... It's pretty... Yeah, see, 1v1s, 2v2s, and then crew battles. Uh, you, the map that will be used will always be Marine Ford and everything. And, yeah, you do crew battles, and then for you to, you know, actually do crew battles you just invite someone to the party so if, let's say if, if another person had been, if someone else was named Ashley X, i would do that Ashley X invite you to the party you accept kind of i don't know why they're able to you're able to invite yourself but oh well oh okay i was about to say i thought that was broken but yeah that's pretty much the entire update guys i hope this video is very helpful to you if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like Comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.